Hi folks, I'm Hector Garcia, CPA and Advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to leverage custom fields inside QuickBooks Online to turn QuickBooks Online Advanced into an advanced accounts payable management system. Now, QuickBooks Online, Essentials Plus and Advanced, all three of them contain the capacity to create bills and manage your accounts payable. But there's no way to separate which bills you wish to pay versus the ones that you don't want to pay. And in order to add this feature, we're going to have to use a custom field, a drop down menu where we tell QuickBooks, these bills are ready to pay and these are not. And where this would be relevant would be in a multi user environment where maybe one person enters the bill, another person approves the bill, and maybe a third person is the one that actually executes the payment. Now, Outside QuickBooks, you can use other apps to manage that accounts payable process, but it's really cumbersome. So I'm going to show you a really easy way of doing that inside QuickBooks Online. Now, to be clear, you need to be working on QuickBooks Online Advanced Edition. The Essentials Plus editions don't have this feature. The way you know is you go into Account and Settings, click on Billing and Subscription, and it will tell you which version of QuickBooks you're in. So right now I have QuickBooks Advanced. Now, if you haven't signed up for QuickBooks Online yet, use the link I'll put in the description because I get paid when you use that link. Uh, but if you already have an active version, all you have to do is upgrade to that advanced edition. Now, let's go into the custom fields menu, which is going to be on the top right side. We're going to click on the gear menu first, and then we're going to go down and under lists, we're going to go to custom fields. So we're going to pick that option called custom fields, and it will take us into the custom fields menu. Now you're going to see multiple custom field sets in here. Notice I created one for sales reps and then also one for state. So if I wanted to track sales by rep or sales by state, I can use uh, this feature to do that. But for this example, let's talk about marking bills as ready to pay or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add field and we're going to create the first uh, set. We're going to choose vendor info because this is going to be an accounts payable, a vendor related custom field. Under name, let's call it ready to pay. I like to use all caps for custom fields. That way, when I'm building the reports, when I see all caps, I know that this is not a built in QuickBooks feature. This is a custom field that I put together. Now, under type, this is really, really important. We're going to pick drop down list. The reason why you don't want any free type is because some people will get lazy and they'll put Y, N. Some people will put yes, no, or maybe they'll type something random in there and you won't be able to properly create the filters for the reports. So we're going to use a drop down menu so we can force a user to pick only from two options. So option number one, we're going to put yes. And option number two, we're going to put no. So we're just going to give the user two options. Now there's a checkbox here that says use in other expense forms. If you hover over the little I, it tells you which transaction forms you want to enable this in. So I'm just going to put a checkbox. I only need it on the bills really, but it will enable it across multiple transaction types. That's going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and I'll, I'll be done with that uh, custom field set. So now I got my custom field set called ready to pay. It's a drop down menu in vendors and other expenses. Now in here, I can go back and click on edit if I want to make any change. So if I wanted to go back and fix something, I can do it in here. So now we're done. Now let's go ahead and create a bill. So I'm going to go to the new menu and then I'm going to click on bill. I'll select my vendor, whichever vendor it is. I'll select my terms. And then here it says ready to pay. This is where I put yes or no. So I'm going to put no. And I'll pick any category here. And a dollar amount. And then click on save and close. So I should have multiple bills inside my QuickBooks Online. If I go into reports, I should be able to quickly find reports like an accounts payable detail report or an accounts aging report. So let me type accounts payable. We'll pull up an accounts payable detail report and then we'll be able to see all the bills that are open. I can click where it says today, change that to all dates and click on run report. That way I can see every single open bill. Now the problem with this report is even though it tells me when the bills are due, it doesn't let the user know that they should be paying this bill or not. We're actually going to go back and create a custom report. I'm going to click on back to report list, which should send me back to the original reports menu. 
and where it says find report by name, I'm going to type transaction list by vendor. So that's the report that we want, transaction list by vendor. We're going to start with that report, and then we're going to make some modifications to it. First thing we want to do, it's only show bills. So we're going to click on customize on the top right. Then we're going to click on where it says filter. So we're going to open up filter. Under transaction type, we'll put a checkbox on that. Click on the drop down menu, and then we're going to select bill. You could also type bill in there if you want to, but you can select it from the drop down menu. I'm going to click out of that, and now I'm only going to show bills. I'll go ahead and click on run report, and then I'll change the report period to all dates, and then I click on run report. So now this should show every single bill that I had paid or unpaid. I'm going to click on customize report, and then I'm going to go down and select one more filter, which is AP paid. I'll put a checkbox on AP paid, scroll up to my selected filters, click on the drop down menu, and then pick this option called unpaid. So now when I click on run report, it's going to give me a list of all my unpaid bills and they're currently grouped by vendor. Now what I can do is I can remove the grouping by by selecting vendor and changing that to none. What that will do is no longer group them, just show them all together and I can change the columns so I can pick and choose what columns I would like to have visible in there. So I'm going to click on the gear menu on the top then I'm going to click where it says show more and then from here I'm going to select what fields I like to see. So I definitely want to see the vendor's name. I don't care about transaction type because I know they're all bills. I don't care about posting because all bills are always posting. I don't care about account because quite frankly, we're not dealing with categories. We're dealing whether or not we're going to pay this bill. And we definitely want this ready to pay option. Notice it's all uppercase, just reminding me that this is my custom field that I created. So I can click out of that and that would change the construction of this report. I probably want the vendor name all the way to the left and then the due date to be the next one. So let's click on the gear menu again and let's click on where it says reorder columns. Now with this pop-up menu that shows up on the right hand side, I can now click and drag any of these and change the order. So I'm going to put vendor at the very top. I should also enable due date. Okay, so that's going to be a good one to enable. The enable due date and then click and drag that one and put it next to vendor. I actually probably don't even care about the original date of the bill. So I get rid of that. So I'm only going to be dealing with due dates. So I got vendor, vendor, due date, number, memo, amount, ready to pay. I should probably put amount at the end. So I'm going to put ready to pay uh, right between amount and memo. So I click on run report. And then maybe let's say this is exactly the report I want to see. Now notice that one of these bills is not ready to pay. Now I'm going to select any of these other ones. I'm going to change the value in the custom field so you can see it change in real time on this report. So I'm going to click on one of these bills here. I'm going to change ready to pay from yes to no, and then click on save and close. And we should now see it updated in the report live. Furthermore, what I can do is I can also filter out and only show bills that are ready to pay. So I go back to where it says customize on the top right, and then I'm going to go into filters. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says ready to pay, put a checkbox on that one, scroll up to the list of all the selected filters, click on the drop down and put yes. And then I'll put run report. So now this report is going to be limited to only the bills that are ready to pay. On top of that, I should probably sort them by due date. So I'm going to click on sort and then select change default to due date and then click out of that. And that should now reorganize them by due date. What I should do now is change the report and give it a, a title that makes sense. So let's put here open bills ready to be paid. Perfect. So there we go. So now we got a custom report that shows me all my bills that are open and now they're ready to be paid. Now I should probably save this report and customize it. So let me scroll up and click on save customization. And then the report name will automatically show up because I customized the report name in to on top of the header. So we should be good, good to go with that. Where it says share with, maybe I could click all. That way all the users inside QuickBooks Online can see that. I'm going to click on save. And now that officially created a saved report into my list. You can see on the URL list that this is memorized report number nine. I know this is very abstract very difficult to see. But the reason why that's important is because 
Now this report has a custom URL. And if I email this report to someone, if they find this custom URL specifically, or they type it in there, or they click on it on a link, they can see the report or jump straight into the report. Even if they're logged out of QuickBooks, it will force them to log in. And then once you click on it, it'll go straight to the report. So it will save you tons of time on finding the information. So what we wanna do is we wanna take that URL and copy it. And then we're gonna come down here to where it says add notes. And then we're gonna paste the URL inside the notes. That way the custom URL of the saved report is now part of the notes. What I should also do is save the customization again so I can overwrite the current custom report that's there with the one that has the added notes and that is now saved. So if I happen to be in any other screen inside QuickBooks, I can go into reports and then click on custom reports. And now right here it says open bills ready to be paid. If I click on that, it'll go straight into that report. Now, if I wanted to automate the process in which the person responsible for making decisions about paying these bills get information about this, let's say daily, all I have to do is create a memorized report that automatically emails. So let's go back into the reports again and then into custom reports. And then where it says open bills ready to pay, I'm gonna look all the way to the right. And then where it says action, I'm gonna click on edit. And then in here, I'm gonna click where it says set email schedule. So this becomes now a scheduled report. I click on this checkbox and I can say email this daily. So every one day, never end. I can choose who gets this. So let's put Hector at GarciaCPA.com. I can also add a CC, a carbon copy if I want a second person to get this. I'll change the title to Open Bills Ready to Pay. Then under the memo, I can put Hi Hector, these are the bills that are ready to pay. And then I'll also paste the link down there so we have it both inside the report and in the body of the email. So then I'm gonna click on save and close. And that's it. So every single day at night, that, that email is gonna go out to that person and they're gonna get an email that, uh, that shows all the bills that are ready to pay. So there's my email from QuickBooks. I'm gonna open that up. And then you see that there's an attachment on the email. I'll click on that attachment. There's the list of all my open bills that are ready to be paid. But notice that under note, the link is there and it's a clickable link. Now, depending on your browser, some browsers don't allow this, but Google Chrome does. So if you click on that link, look like magic, it'll jump straight into QuickBooks Online and show up that report as long as you're logged in or you have a login access. Anyway, that's just one example of the many things you can do with custom fields in QuickBooks Online Advanced. We are a consulting firm. We do QuickBooks training, QuickBooks consulting. QuickBooks can't do a lot of the things that people ask us to do, but this is one of example of something really practical, really easy that could be done. So if you need more help with special training and consulting when it comes to custom fields or anything else, our contact information is in the description, including my email in the bottom. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one.